Hi, welcome to another video. Something a little bit different in this video. It's about a plugin. That is about plugins. So how many times have you loaded up your Mac 4 and then down in the corner you've got this little keyboard icon sat there. You can enable and disable keyboard functions to do with the keyboard plugin. Well, I've got a problem with that. Within the plugins configuration, the keyboard inputs, well, it's not, it's not enabled. So how many other plugins have you got in that plugin directory for a card or for something you was using or something you might use now and again in a different profile? So I needed a plugin that would sort this out for me. So first of all, with this plugin, we're going to need to take the two files and we're going to copy that into our plugins directory. Then we're going to start up Mac 4 again using the Mac 4 mill out the box as I normally say. I'm going to go to the plugin config and turn the plugin on. Like it says, it will need a restart for that to start working, but there's something else we need to do before. We need to add something in our screen load script. So if we go to our screen load script, which is here, and we're going to add a piece of code right at the bottom now the thing is with Mac 4 when it loads up plugins it starts on the first plugin in the directory loads it then it goes to the next plugin and it loads them individually now to make sure it's loaded everything from the plugins directory before the unplugin plugin starts why did i call it that because i can't speak that much we don't want the unplugin to run before every other one of the plugins have started so by putting this command in the bottom of the screen load script it won't start the unplugin until everything else is loaded the screen is loaded everything's loaded up basically so let's save that and come out of the screen editor and then we'll just shut down Mac 4 and obviously restart it again as you can see the keyboard it's still highlighted down in the corner so if we now go to configure, go to our plugins and go to the unplugin, you'll come up with a screen like this. Now the keyboard, we'll use this one as an example. Now if you don't want that keyboard to load, in fact, I'll take out a few more. I don't use the Modbus, I'm not using the Serial, I'm not using the Shuttle Pro. Normally, I would get rid of the simulator, but I need it for when I'm showing you stuff. As you can see, with the core, there's no way you're going to unload that, because it will be pretty much stupid. So we've got those highlighted. If we click Apply, all the ones that are highlighted in red will not load the next time you start Mac 4. If we shut down Mac 4 and run it again, you might have quickly noticed down in this corner that the Mac 4 keyboard icon tried to load up there, but it was pulled off again by the unplugging. We go into the plugins 
you'll see that it's pulled them all out. Mac 4 don't even know they're there. Totally gone. We go back into the unplugging. Down the bottom grid here, it's now highlighted the ones that this unplugging is unloading from the core on startup. So you know you're not going to get bubbled with them. You can update as many times with Mac 4, let them install them back in the plugins directory. It, it won't do anything, they'll get unloaded. Now if you want to use that again, you've only got to highlight it, tell it to reload. Next time you load up Mac 4, the Shuttle Pro will load with it. If you're doing something also, and you want to just take something out as a one test, and this is actually a good test to see if this will work in the screen load script by get you know getting unloaded, because some plugins will crash the core. Now the poke is. I tried that one. The poke is if you try to unload it once it's loaded, you'll just crash Mac 4. So this is a quick test. You can highlight one and just click unload. And it will tell you if it's you know okay to unload from the core. So the next time round, you know you can hide you can't highlight it now because it's already already been used for a function. In fact that might be an idea to put on the next one is I'll put that so you can reset it. So you can do that. So you know now you could have could have applied that and get that running. If you've got a plug in there that's been obviously in the bottom grid for a long while and it doesn't get updated and you don't use it, you can we'll use the keyboards for um, an example. So we've got the keyboard plug in here. If I highlight the keyboard plug in and click delete it will take it out of the plugins directory for you the same with that even if you do two what we done modbus no the modbus is still there in fact i've done reload you daft donkey right <clears throat> i just reloaded everything off screen so you didn't have to wait you can do everything in bulk and it will tell you it's what well, it's deleted so even at Modbus Serial and Shuttle Pro have now all been deleted from there and when I start up Mac 4 We look at the plugins now. It's nearly, I mean, I'm using the MacDuino, so that's not a problem. But everything that I need is loaded into the core. Anything I don't need gets taken away. I think, in my own opinion, will make Mac 4 for me a lot more stable. And Hopefully it'll make it more stable from you, from you, for you. It's a Sunday tea time and I'm tired now. Been up on this all day. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Got any questions, please do ask and I'll post the plugin on the forum as usual. I'll see you in the next video.